guys and welcome back to another video we're gonna play in our September boxycharm box but first we're gonna get started with brows I'll be lining the bottom and the top part of my brows and then filling in the rest using my wet and wild color cold liner Simer brown and wait sis before we go any further take the time out now and make sure you subscribe and join the beauty best friend game and make sure you click the bell so that you will be alerted each and every time i upload and comment below beauty best friends to let me know that you with me sis so we're going to continue on with the video now that we have that out of the way i'm going to clean my brows using the la girl pro concealer in the shade espresso and right now i am just cleaning up my brows a little bit with the beauty i'm sorry the eyebrow archer from the beauty supply store and then going in and evenly distributing that product throughout my entire brow Once you outline your brows with your concealer, you just want to use a nice, tightly packed bristle brush to just blend out that concealer just to eliminate any harsh lines. That way when you apply the foundation, it won't be that hard to blend out both that concealer around the brows and your foundation. For eye primer, I'm using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 5 and just blending and patting that in. And now from the September Boxy Charm, I received the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Palette. And I listed the shades on the screen so you'll know what shades I use to achieve this look. So I hope that was very helpful for you guys. I will say that the colors black and cinnamon were the two most difficult shades to blend out in this palette. In case if you were wondering, considering buying the palette or subscribing to BoxyCharm and you receive this palette, um, those were difficult shades to blend out. But with patience and diligence, I was able to do the best that I could at blending it out. If you do consider subscribing to BoxyCharm, I do have a link listed in the description box below. You pay $21 a month for about four to five products that you receive and you can personalize it how you want, whether or not you want more makeup and less skincare or vice versa. Next, I received the Hank and Harry eyeliner in the color black and it's a felt tip liner and guys it glides on so easy so nice so buttery so i will definitely be grabbing this again In case if you're new to my channel, welcome also. I like to color correct on top of my foundation. I just find that, I don't know, it just really stepped up my makeup game. So I just wanted to let you know in case if you was like, ah, sis don't know what she doing. Yes, I do. I like to color correct first on top of my foundation and then conceal. And then the second shade that I put on top of the shade Espresso, 
out of the LA Girl Pro Concealer is the shade Fawn, just to brighten my eyes a little bit. And for my nose contour, if you didn't see in my last video, I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Earth. And for contouring my face, I like to use the Black Radiance Color Perfect Foundation Stick in the shade Espresso. Once I have all of my creams and my liquid products blended out well, I like to set it and then I go in with my powders. I just find that it gives me a more full coverage, flawless finish and it helps the longevity of my makeup. Once I have my powders blended in, I'm going to use the Moda Pro eye brushes that also came in my BoxyCharm subscription for this month. And I'm just going to use this for the bottom part of my eyes. I'm sorry. I didn't use them earlier. I remember at the last minute, so I was like, oh, I still have a chance to use them. And guys, don't forget that all products in this video will be listed in the description box below, along with the link to subscribe to BoxyCharm if you wish to, no pressure. And I'm just going to do the lips, and don't forget, you guys always use your foundation brush to pat in those powders, especially the setting powders to set your concealers, just to prevent from any flashback. And I'm just doing my inner corner highlight and doing two shades to give it a neon effect and curling my eyelashes and that pretty much sums up the video you guys i thank you so much for watching to all my new subscribers welcome and if you haven't already feel free to subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye look at those palm trees dance